Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel. I'm an interpretive tarot card reader and this will be your bonus reading. This reading can be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and it will be looking into anything coming up potentially in love. Um, thank you so much to everyone who's been liking, sharing and subscribing. Please feel free to hit the subscribe and bell notification button to receive um, to receive updates on any bonus and themed readings. Otherwise, four cards for you, uh, Scorpio. I want to take the first four that have fallen out here to have a look and see what's coming up for you. Okay. Let's have a look here. There is potentially a bit of a struggle coming up here, Scorpio. Something you need to fight for. Um, some of you have the past or a cancer coming back in with the moon card or a very strong codependency, excuse me, or a clinginess um, that's coming up around you here. I feel like... Uh, I feel like because the moon represents intuition, I feel like you need to listen to your intuition. I definitely feel it's going to lead you in the right direction, okay? Um, your subconscious, your higher self, your spirit guides, your intuition, call it what you will, Scorpio. I think this is very important for you uh, with the moon card energy. Cancer is very intuitive energy. You might be dealing with a cancer, you may, may not be, uh, but this energy is coming up around you. And I feel like it could be quite an, it's, it's an emotional peaking month for you, um, Scorpio, and you are affected by water. Water is your element. So I'm seeing that there could be something here you refuse to accept, Scorpio. The Seven of Wands indicates resistance or the refusal, uh, feeling like you're sort of put on the spot or feel like you have to make a decision. I don't know if this is pressure coming in from this other person that you're dealing with, but this is a lot of resistance coming in on your part, Scorpio. So there's something that you're refusing to accept or refusing to acknowledge um, or refusing to, maybe you're refusing to give someone the time of day. Maybe they've been really fighting and, and wanting to communicate with you. They've been trying to fight for this. Um, or maybe this is you, Scorpio. Maybe you are doing the fighting. The struggle is on your part because you feel something or someone is worth fighting for. You feel like you've got your sword up and you're not going down without a fight. Okay, you're not going down. You're not going to walk away that easily, maybe. Um, you're not going to give someone that power, I don't think. Uh, I think there's a lot of courage coming up around you. Three of Cups, so you're possibly wanting to settle a dispute of some kind and you're you're wanting to bring back harmony. There's been a bit of anxiety, I think, an injection of anxieties in a lot of your relationships out there and I think you're just waiting to, to be back to this or at least be civil, okay? I mean, this is civility, this is celebration. It is a kind of support uh, and things of that nature. So the fact that that's come up, I feel it does point to you wanting this um, or at least ending things on a good note. I don't feel it's necessarily endings. I feel like I feel like you're just getting started. I mean, you've got the ace here. Could be around an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, the ace of swords can also be an opportunity to act or an opportunity to fight for something, especially with words. There could be some, there might be some things said to you or some things you say, Scorpio, that could add that could add fuel to fire here. So be careful. I mean, you have that ability to sting. When you want to sting, you'll sting, okay? Um, and I think that might be coming up for some of you. And you've got the watchtowers next to the moon here. I don't know if you're waiting or watching to see someone else's reaction or it's this is your safety haven. You might be retreating. Okay, the cancer is represented by the crab and we do have a crustacean here. So uh, you might be retreating into your protective shell, um, so to speak, it, it, metaphorically. And the claws might be coming out, Scorpio. I'm not going to lie. There might be something here that angers you. The seven of wands is anger. There might be someone here who uh, accuses you of something this month, potentially. It could be like insecurities or trust issues, uh, or they want you to take accountability. 
but they're just going to keep on shooting through. Okay, it's just going to come one after the other and it's going to get to a point where enough is enough and you're determined to deflect or to fight or to counteract these arguments or accusations and it might cause that anxiety with the moon card. The moon card is uncertainty, it's emotion. I think you're going to try to keep things happy and try to keep things civil and try to keep things looking the three of cups, but there's only so much of that you can handle. This is you as, as the cups cards here, Scorpio. Maybe what, maybe there's someone here. Okay. It could play out a couple of ways. Maybe there's someone here who's, who's doing this to you and you're just trying to look at the good. You're just trying to think about the positive. You're trying to keep things civil. You're trying to keep things mellow. They might push you too far though, Scorpio. This is what I'm wondering. And that's when that's when the sword's going to come out. It could be that. It could be that someone pushes you away enough for you to want to pursue something new, a new chapter with another person maybe. It could also be reversed that you will push them too far. Your maybe accusations, you will cause them to be resistant because of the things that you'll put forward. Because of maybe with the moon, it can be anxieties and insecurities. And we all have them, Scorpio. Everyone has them to some degree uh, in some aspect of, of themselves and of themselves as lovers and partners and as relationship, um, you know, part of a relationship. So uh, that, that, doesn't, that doesn't really surprise me here. But it's a, it's a very interesting play out. Or now is your time to strike. I don't know if this is even getting even, Scorpio. I don't know if some of you need feel like you need to get even with someone and this is the time you're going to do it. I don't know if it's making them jealous. I don't know if it's saying something. I don't know if it's, it's doing something hurtful. Uh, I wouldn't say it's necessarily out of spite. I would say it's more that you, you feel like you need to balance things. Like you feel like you're doing it out of protection rather than anything else. So that conversation or these words or that action, uh, I think is more to do um, with, with you. It's coming from, it comes from a protective place. But I, I do feel like it is quite an interesting, peculiar situation, Scorpio. Um, But there's anger here. There's there's anger that's coming up around you. There's resistance. I don't know if it's resistance to put up with a bit of BS. You know, someone might be doing that to you. They might be lying to you. Um, they might be, maybe they're just cruising along three of cups, not really taking things seriously. Um, and maybe that will anger you and maybe you'll pull them up about it. And maybe that's what that Ace of Swords is because it's an opportunity. Uh, it's an opportunity to remove or talk about or tackle certain um, certain things and I think it's almost like it's the universe's way of telling you now's your chance Scorpio um, this is your chance for an opening maybe this is your chance to tackle the issue this is your chance to if it has bottled up for quite amount of time show them that it doesn't sit well with you um, I do I feel like this 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 is the this is your chance Scorpio Because two water cards, okay, definitely quite emotional. And with the moon card, there's a lot of push and pull energy. You're drawn to something, Scorpio. You can't help it. You're drawn to doing this thing. And, and I think you've got your eyes set on the prize. I think you know what it is, what you have to do, what you need to do, certainly what you want to do. And I think you'll go ahead and do it. And you won't hesitate. You won't think twice. But I think there is an opening. Okay, I think there is an opening to act here. So um, very interesting reading. I will leave it at that though. So thank you again for watching Scorpio. Uh, 